Hi guys, so let's now continue the statement of financial position. This time we're just going to have a look at our two assets that we'll see on our statement of financial position or balance sheet. Those assets can be broken down as uh, the non-current assets, also known as fixed assets. Uh, these represent long-term capital expenditure uh, by the business in long-term assets which will be sustained over a number of years and used over a long period of time. So examples uh, of such assets could be tangible, such as buildings, machinery, vehicles, things like that, but it could also be about intangible items. Intangible simply meaning items that you cannot touch. Obviously you can touch buildings, machineries and so on. But uh, when it comes to a brand, if you want to buy a brand or invest in a brand and develop a brand, uh, well, you can't really touch that, nor can you actually understand the goodwill uh, that people feel when they see a given brand. And of course, that goodwill, that likely loyalty people have, consumers may have towards a given brand, may well uh, foster that brand loyalty. And of course, that's very important in business. Okay, so uh, further to this, we can also see that some of these assets may actually depreciate in value, particularly machinery and vehicles. We know that they tend to uh, depreciate, and if a brand isn't invested in and really developed and uh, the trust and brand loyalty really uh, enhanced within that brand, there's a chance that brand could uh, depreciate in value as well. Um, now, that means that you can actually allow for depreciation, something that we'll look at later. And this is simply writing down the value of the asset, reflecting the wear and tear and impact on time on vehicles and machinery and so on. Okay, so the asset may be valued at its net book value, that is the cost of the asset before depreciation, or it may be valued at a depreciated level. So there is flexibility for allowing for depreciation of these non-current assets or fixed assets, uh, such as machinery and vehicles. Okay, now on the other hand, we've also got current assets. So current assets are simply assets that uh, are likely to be used up uh, within a year. They're likely to be converted into cash within the short term. And examples are inventories. Inventory stock is the least liquid current asset. As the least li liquid current asset, you'll see that it will appear uh, as the highest placed uh, current asset of the business. Okay, trade receivables. So trade receivables is obviously where uh, someone has bought something from you, but you have given them a period of trade credit and you are waiting to receive that money. Then prepayments, the fact that you've actually paid in advance for a given bill, and that means you will receive inventories at some point in the future. And then finally, the most liquid uh, of current assets, and that is cash in the bank, okay? Uh, so there we go, we've got non-current assets and current assets. So we'll break this down to have a look at the uh, liabilities next, and then we'll really start getting to grips with the way in which the balance sheet works. Okay, thanks guys.